for our number one of course this is obviously a resort show so it's not really fair because resort shows are kind of it feels like to me resort fashion shows are like um uh, an opportunity for the designers to just flex some of the best ofs of the previous season right or it's an opportunity for the fashion designer to essentially do what because i don't know if i was i always say if i was a fashion designer i would love making a diffusion line that would be i always said if i did it i'd do it upside down i'd start with a diffusion line and then work up to the main line just to kind of shake things up a bit but i still think i still think there's something in the ability there's there's something to be said um for having the ability to make um really transient sort of like um easily con easily consumed fashion items for the mass for the general public on that high level I think it's really something to it, like the ability to make like a really good coin purse, a really good card holder, lanyard, belt, um, socks, scarves, knit caps, snapback hats, right? There's there's something backpacks, there's something about being able to do that really well and sell it to like a you know, a broad audience that, you know, I think people kind of poo poo a bit, but that's that's real design, you know that's real design skill and then somehow taking those the learnings from that and fine-tuning as much as you can laser sharpening it laser sharpening um your focus and then you know making an absolute luxury brand at the top I, i'd love to do it that way but i think resort lines that's why i love them and they're so fun to me because they seem like an amalgamation of like the best hits of the previous season or of the season that's um coming after right after the fact it's going to be 2022 um autumn winter or just the opportunity for you to kind of flex your muscle and show what you would be able to do if you had a diffusion line. And Balenciaga does it the best, I think, in that regard. The resort collections are usually some of my favorites. And this one from 2021 is a good example of it. Obviously with COVID-19, they presented it in a sort of um, taking inspiration from, I'm guessing their buying sheet when you go into the showroom, it's essentially broken down into every, every piece is broken down on the side there a breakdown of materials and exactly then the product code which is super handy for um serial geeks like myself you know you can note down a piece because sometimes as well part of the reason why fashion is annoying because a lot of the stuff you see in a run where you don't see it in stores right so some of the stuff depending on how many stores actually go out and buy it really dictates whether or not they actually put it into production or just in general it's just a show piece they're just going to flex their muscles on a runaway but sometimes you can get lucky but you can get lucky and they can make a couple of those pieces that you want that weren't really that well requested but you need to know what it actually is right so it's either you rock up there with a, your with your cracked iphone with an image from the vogue runway and then get you know sh shamed by the store assistants that make you feel poor or <laughs> or if you're smart you try and get a hold of the product code and just give them a call and put on your best posh voice and try and get it reserved and it sometimes works so the ability to see what the actual product code is for this um for each look is amazing man so i'm really thankful by seeing that but i think overall just in terms of what they put out especially some of the more baggier volum voluptuous um jackets they're all over um I've, I've i've kind of had a bit of a moment where i'm thinking about getting a nice camel or light brown overcoat that i can wear over some of my uh, light denim pieces but i like the addition of wearing it over an all black look that's not something i generally do but i quite like that kind of styling tip on there um the shoes are interesting in this look here i'm not this is what look five or 41 it's that kind of tyrex boot shoe thing um I'm not sure what he's doing with the footwear, Dasha. I mean, Demna. I'm not sure if he's um, purposely trying to push his consumer into the the more freakier end of the footwear choices or if he's trying to challenge himself as a designer to see how far he can push that ugly, delicious, no, is it? Um, ugly, beautiful. So how, how, yeah, how, how he's going to sort of like balance on that line between pure, ugly and delightful. Um, and at the moment, I'd say that Tyrex shoe, whatever it is, is not my cup of tea. I think, is it Tyrex? What is it? Ba -ba 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 -ba, ring, shoes, earrings, booty. Okay, no, it's a buckle knife flat booty. Whatever that is, I'm not a fan of it at all. But some of the bits I do like is this jacket here. I just passed this jacket, whatever this is. Um, I unfortunately lost my Balenciaga plat padded flannel the same flannel that travis wore and a few other people i think kanye wore them a few times too i had it in navy the same color and i left it in a cloakroom at a warehouse party and pew, 
it went away so whoever's got it out there if you're enjoying it enjoy it but if i see you on road it's on <laughs> but no um this is sort of similar to the sort of um same flannel i had you know pinstripe print on the upper i'm not sure if it's essentially a, a rain jacket it doesn't say what the composition of it is it's a light parka here composition is entirely polyester so i'm assuming it's sort of like a you know like a mac that's um proportions have been twisted somewhat but i just love the look of it it's fairly basic of a look i know some people won't agree but i think overall in terms of volume in terms of shape this is definitely what i'm on all vibes baggy jeans probably the five finger shoes i could miss you can miss me on the five finger shoes that's not something i'm ever gonna wear and i don't think being a i don't know there's something about those five finger shoes when you're above a size eight it just doesn't run i don't think it runs at all it's not for me um and of course a nice little addition here and all black look with some pink shoes um the knits on here are really nice again great overcoats and of course the bags are beautiful uh, i'd easily wear that really really easy wear that great casting i love her, how they braided her hair as well it looks really awesome um great overcoat is that a little tote bag i didn't actually see that before detail there a nice little shopper where is that yeah it's a shopper medium shoulder tote bag um i gotta say some of the some of the text print things on the coat i'm not really a fan of i think they did this on another coat they did from a previous season where they kind of print it all over i'm just not a fan of logos printed all over my stuff anymore i probably made one of the main reasons why i probably stopped wearing supreme it's just not a thing so i'm not really a fan of all this stuff but you know i guess it sells really well for them so they're going to do what they got to do um and then another one i want to show you of course the styling on this looks great with the blue overcoat and whatever that is that knife shoe again oh those shoes look amazing with the buckles okay knife buckle booty look great so obviously some of the styling bits on here look really awesome again what a great look here this camo um four set denim looks really awesome um great jacket here as well with the sock heels another great you know they always make great parkers um but it's like really underrated in their ability to make parkers i'm not sure if it's him going out and buying going to vintage shops because a lot of it seems like the kind of jackets that you'd get from like a you know a, a charity shop right those kind of jackets that you you know an old lady would kind of hand over um super um big padded um really basic closures you know plastic zips and sh shabby sort of like snap buttons on it but he seems to get whatever that shape is and size and kind of you know does his own little thing with they use it as a pattern i'd imagine so because the parker shapes are always always on point really really good um again a nice parker there and then the last couple of looks i think i really liked were um one with the sweater to jump i'm going to see if i can quickly find it here and move on to another collection that i liked yeah this look this is one of my favorite looks as well this look here this guy's got on he's got a pair of pink frame sunglasses a nice kelly green jacket with the same sort of print pants that i liked on the other parker before so blue pinstripe and some nice bright sandals with the matching socks like this look is you know i'd wear i'd wear the hell out of that look and then the next one i think i liked as well of course that look is great the all neon tracksuit is amazing as well um and this look is awesome this is basically my favorite this kind of encapsulates you know what i love about balenciaga the ability to take you know really basic mundane pieces like a long sleeve t-shirt um you know mess about with the proportions you know the cuffs are a little bit wider than you maybe see on most kind of long sleeve t-shirts um a bit longer in the body some nice cargo pants which have been you know cargo pants have been everywhere over the last couple of seasons it feels like so they've kind of Balenciaga stepped into the fray and offered their take on cargo pants with some nice front pockets here which I love and adore um, sometimes having the pockets on the side makes you look a bit more frumpy than what you need so I love the things in the front it looks, makes you look a bit more tactical and then the five finger shoes and that's that's the beauty of styling when you're really good at what you do and you've got the code set in place you can make the most deadest of things look good and they've made these five finger shoe thingies look absolutely nice actually so credit to them or what they're doing there man but yeah Balenciaga's one of